Hi guys, so today is going to be a little challenge for myself. I came across this video on TikTok from Adon Ramirez and it is so cool. They did the design in I think some sort of like gel or poly gel and then filed it down. Now we have done something similar like this before with some other TikTok hacks. Like I think we did like a flower one and I think we've done some others with maybe some cutouts and stuff like that, but I don't think I've ever tried to do like a character or anything more intricate than like a rose or a flower with like actual poly gel or acrylic or something like that to build the nail while making the design, if that makes sense. And you guys know that I love me a filing reveal. It's one of my favorite things, even though the reveal for me isn't usually that great. I still love it. So that's what I want to do today. I want to do a character design in acrylic. I know that's going to be quite difficult, but I think it is so cool and I think it looks really nice as well. I felt like this would be a fun little challenge for myself because it's definitely not something I've ever tried before. I know this is going to be so fun, but also a ton of work. So let's just get straight into it. So for my tips, I'm going to use these extra long tapered square nail tips from Nails by Deb. I was like, why does this look like that? And I remember that um, I accidentally dropped them a little while ago <laughs> and never reorganized them. And also obviously some hair got pulled up with it. That's okay. I can find my sizes like this, I think. <laughs> okay, no worries. I got my sizes. So let's put these on. I do already have a peel off base coat on my nails. And sometimes whenever I'm using glue on top of the Jello Jello peel off base coat, it doesn't want to stick very well to like either thing. I don't know, it just wants to slide off. So I'm gonna etch the inside of these tips really quick, just a little bit, just to help everything adhere. It really does have to do more with the base coat, but I don't want to file my base coat because otherwise it will just all peel up. Then I just use a little bit because again, sometimes a little trouble sticking and the more glue definitely does not help that issue. I'm gonna try really hard to get these straight. All right, I think we're good there. Now I'm gonna just file the edges of the tip so it's more flush with my nail. And then I'm going to chop these down just a little. So I'm pretty sure that they are using poly gel, gel, whatever. I'm gonna try to use acrylic. I might regret this and it could go horribly wrong, but I'm gonna try. So I'm going to start with a thin layer of white just on all of my nails, just to first level everything out and to get like a blank canvas. So I'm gonna use my Speed White from Young Nails. And then I'm gonna use Secret Nail Affair Monomer. I like this monitor, it smells, but it's not going to like smell up your whole house. It is also HEMA free. Then I have my Long Hair Pretty Nails and Poochie's Nails Collab Brush. Okay, let's just get right into it. I don't think I've picked up any acrylic in quite a little while, honestly. The nails that aren't getting any characters on it are gonna have a bit of a thicker white base because I'm not even sure how much other acrylic I'm gonna do on top. I'm gonna really try to focus my energy on doing two character nails and then I can think about what I want to put on everything else and really just try to like fill in down here. All right, honestly, I have no idea where to even start. I think I'm gonna start from inside out. That's the only way I can really think that's gonna make sense because otherwise I'm gonna be switching back and forth between a bunch of different things too much. So I'm gonna start with eyes. I'm <laughs> I just realized also I didn't even tell you what I'm doing. I'm doing my Melody and Karomi. So my Melody, I think is gonna be like holding a heart. And then I've seen a lot of pictures of Karomi with heart eyes, so I'm gonna make Chromie with heart eyes. And even though this might come out after Valentine's Day, I feel like this could be a cute set for any time of year. I know there's a lot of other people that also just love hearts and pink and stuff like that. So we're still going with hearts. For the eyes, I'm gonna go with a little bit of a shimmery acrylic. So essentially I need to make two tiny dots for eyes first, which I feel like is the hardest thing to do. There's one eye. I feel like that's too close together. Can we push it this way? 
Ooh, I can. Okay. It shouldn't really matter if there's streaks of like black in the white acrylic right here because we're going to file everything down. I'm going to build up every single part to past where it's going to be filed. So that way when we file it down, it's all nice. So all of that will be covered. So I'm gonna put my like initial pieces down, but then I might need to go over and do a second layer just to make sure it's high enough, especially for things like the eyes that can sort of get lost probably really easily. I think the eye on the left is the size I want it to be. So I'm gonna go over this one now. This one is going to be my melody. I'm not gonna lie, that looks kind of crazy, but it looks so funny. But I feel like that is all right. From what I can see, I think they're about the same shape. I hope that's right. Next, we need to do the nose. And then from Nail Me as well, I'm gonna use just this yellow. It is a little bit darker than I would want, but it's also gonna be just like super, super small. Now this needs to be even smaller than the eyes. Okay, there we are. I'm gonna let that kind of sit and then I need to build it up. Kind of looks like a snowman right now <laughs> is where we're at. One thing I'm not really gonna do though is I'm not going to be putting black outlines around everything. So like normally, you know, like the nose would have a black outline around the face, you know, just in general. And I'm not going to be doing that. I think that would just be too much. At first I was thinking I would do the outline, but then I also noticed on their videos, they didn't do an outline and that might be a stylistic choice, but for me, it's going to be a capability choice. That's where we're at. I'm going to sketch around where I want the face to be just to help myself a little bit. Still looking like a snowman. Kind of creepy one at that. For the smile, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might draw that one on. That might be just like something I'm gonna draw on because I don't know. But now I'm gonna do the head and that's going to be in white. So I'm gonna pretty much go over this in white. I'm gonna try to go around a lot of what I already have here because I still wanna be able to see it. If I cover it entirely, I might lose some direction of how I'm wanting things to look. Also, this is absolutely not an acrylic brush, but I just needed something smaller than a regular acrylic brush, but bigger than the like mini sculpting one. This is looking a little bit more like Karomi. It might be because the eyes are partially covered, hopefully. <laughs> Although well, that would be an interesting look on my melody that looks like Karomi. All right, that's the face. Hopefully this is a good shape around and hopefully it's all even. I feel like now we should probably do the bunny hood. I think for the bunny hood, I'm gonna use a bright pink. This is also a glow pink, so that's fun. This one is from Enil. I don't know why I abbreviate Enil Couture all the time, but if you're ever confused, that's what it is. I think I'm gonna go with the outline a little bit because this is kind of hard because there's also her bow. So the hood would go like here, there, maybe like the bunny ear, the other bunny ear, and then like there. That might be too high up. Yeah, it looks a little crazy, a little bit. But then the bow, I think that's all right. All right, that probably looks crazy. Um, It looks crazy to me too, but I'm actually not going to do the hood first. I'm gonna do the bow. For the bow, I'm gonna use In Love from Anacrylics. It's a very bright red. Although I may need to do like a thin outline on part of the bow because I want the center of the bow to be a heart. So we run into a teeny bit of an issue there. I'm going to cheat just a tiny bit and do the heart in a mold, but I'm so mad because I have like a whole thing of just heart molds, but I used it recently and then I don't know where it went after. So hopefully this will do. All right, let's see how this turned out. Honestly, kind of perfect. Although it may be too big. Oh wow, yep, that's way too big. Boo. Okay, I'll sculpt it. I feel like that looks pretty good. I don't wanna necessarily put a black outline around it, so I'm going to use this Cure Sky Red. It might be pretty similar, but at least it'll show a little bit of a difference. Just that way we can have like a little bit of an outline for it, you know? I have no idea how that's gonna turn out. Um, so I'm just gonna do the rest of the bow now. And I actually think I'm gonna use the Cure Sky Red because it will show a difference between the heart and the center of it. I think that side's good. Now I'm gonna just do a little bit on this other side because there's not much we can fit. Okay, honestly, I feel like that looks kind of cute. I feel like I kind of got it. Now we can do her hood. I didn't really think about how to show that her like ear is folded over. All right, I have a little bit of an idea. Okay, 
I got it. It's fine. Everything's fine. But now I have my pink again. I'm gonna at least fill in the easy parts first. Ah! I love seeing the difference in color for acrylic for when it's dry versus when it's wet. Because I was thinking this was gonna be like a light, light candy pink, but it's actually a little bit more of a darker pink, which I kind of like. And it's good because I have a light pink for the big heart I'm gonna do. So I'm carving out this little spot for this ear over here. And I think that what I'm gonna do is just a tiny bit of white. I don't know, I was just thinking a little bit of white or black to kind of differentiate right here. But I feel like it might look a little weird. I don't know. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Okay, I'm going to take the light pink that I'm going to use for the heart. And I think that I'm going to try to build just a little bit of a differentiation just a little bit. I know it doesn't really make sense because it should be dark, but I don't want to put any black in this up here because then I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it would stand out a lot. So you see I have just a little bit and then the shape of the ear goes around here, but I need to build this up. And I'm gonna put it on this in case I overlap on top of it. And also it might create like a little bit of a natural shadow. I think that the video I showed you guys, I think for theirs they do use clear to kind of differentiate things and create natural shadows and like natural looking heights on things. Hopefully that did it. I feel like that was thick enough to make a differentiation. High hopes. And I'll go back to my other color for the hood. And I feel like that's good for the hood up there. So I'm just going and filling in the background now with white. Although my hands look crusty, I feel like my skin is not happy with me right now because I took off a set that I put on today. And they're so dry because I keep putting my hands in front of my space heater to get the acrylic to set faster. So my hands are like screaming for moisture. Okay, there it is. What will be, will be. Now, I just want to do a big heart and her holding the heart. So I'm just going to sketch that out a little bit and I want her hands to be holding it. So it'd be like right here-ish. <laughs> okay, got it. And I probably should put the hands on first because that is going on top of the heart. So we'll just do these little hands right here. I'm pretty sure their hands just look like little blobs. The hands look pretty wonky, but hopefully once I file it down, it'll look okay. Now let's do the heart. Hopefully the black outlines aren't going to show because this might be a little bit more of a translucent color. I guess we'll see. It might be thick enough to not show. Ooh, I don't know. I think I'm going to put the color from her hood as a base, just like a small base of it. So that way we don't see the black outline, hopefully. I know I should have used something lighter or a pencil or something like that, but I didn't have that next to me. I had this, okay. <laughs> now I know for next time. I think I want the heart to be a little bigger, like at least go underneath both hands. Okay, so now time for the lighter pink. All right, that heart looks crazy. <laughs> I cannot wait to file this down. But lastly, I'm going to fill in the bottom part now with the white once again, just to finish this all up. And I cannot believe we are almost done. But you know what? If I looked at this, I would know it was my melody. Is it going to be a licensed my melody? Or is it going to be a my melody from AliExpress? We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> this thing is so chunky though. And there we have it. All right, now this outline looks absolutely terrifying. But since it was a full body, I knew I had to be careful with my spacing. So I think 
this will be fine. We will once again start with the eyes, except I'm gonna have her do these heart eyes. What's going to be a real challenge for me is that this is a slanted design. And just if things are not center, I have such a hard time doing them. Like if I'm not doing it dead on, it is so hard for me. So this is going to be extremely difficult for me, but I wanna practice because I want to be able to do it and sort of like unlock that in my brain. A lot of this area looks crazy because of my outline. So before I do the nose, I'm gonna just put a little bit of white down because I'm gonna be using a lot of that like more transparent pink and I do not want the outline to show underneath. So now the pink nose, which hopefully will show, right? Because that's pretty small and this acrylic's really light. Then I'm gonna cover up the mouth with some white so that I can do that same light pink color. Okay, this still looks very scary. Like what is even going on? But I feel like it's actually not too bad in terms of like the face, the hearts look good, the nose looks good, and I think the mouth looks good. Kind of hard to tell. I'm gonna do Karomi's skull, which is gonna be quite difficult, but with the other pink, because I feel like this light pink is just so hard to see. And also that way these two nails match. I don't know how I'm gonna do the skull. That might need to be something that has like a drawn on detail, like how I'm gonna do with my Melody's mouth. That's just something like too tiny for acrylic. And I think that for just how I've done it so far, all of this technically is gonna need a shift because the skull would be directly in the middle. And I did have it over to the side quite a bit more. I swear we are almost done with the face, but I think I'm gonna do blush if I can fit it. I'm not sure if I can. And I wanna make sure it looks like blush and not another nose. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so I think that the blush is gonna work. Happy about that. So let me just build these up and then we can finally be done with the face, which I kind of was thinking was gonna be the hardest part, but I think the hardest part might actually end up being the body. I think I'm gonna use this sparkly black again. It's very, very, barely shimmery. But I think I'm gonna use that for the black on Karomi because that way I can just add a little bit of sparkle. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the hat. Hopefully this shouldn't be too difficult because I mean, it's just the hat and the ear. I need to make sure I get that really sharp V on the tip of the hat though. I feel like this is a little scary because I don't wanna mess this part up. I think I'm gonna wait to put the white in the face until I have like the collar done and the hands done. This black is also more for nail art. So thankfully it's not taking a super long time to dry because some blacks can take forever and it's not too runny either. Very nice. I don't want to lose the dot on the hat. So I'm going to do that first up here and then I'm going to kind of do something similar like I did with my Melody's ears where I put just a little something around it to help differentiate it. I think just a little bit of clear around the little ball at the top too, just like a tiny amount. I think that will help it not get all mushed together. All right, now let's finish this hat. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna do part of the collar now since I have the black out because I kind of want to be done with the black. It's messy and I want to just get that out of the way. This will also help frame the face a little bit. I feel like it's hard because I don't know how deep I'm going to file. Like I don't want these to be huge, chunky, and bulky, but like I built this part up crazy. It's so high, but the nose and the eyes are not that tall. So hopefully everything on some layer is all even. I feel like the body is going to be quite difficult because I did not really think out doing also a white background. So there's that, but I'm gonna just put a hand down. And I've been trying to work with gravity and just kind of let the acrylic essentially like fall upwards for my nail because I feel like this is a little bit easier than uh, sculpting it up. It's like if it's in the shape I want when I put it down, just 
turn my hand around. Then I'm gonna try to separate with clear. I think I might need to go in at the end and do a little bit of outlining. That's okay. Hopefully it'll just be a little bit at the end to differentiate anywhere that kind of gets lost. And the rest of the body. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about the tail. Even though it's just a little bit, it'll still help it read better. To hopefully differentiate between the body and the arm, I'm gonna put another layer of like clear on top here. So hopefully that way it can stay like a shadow. Then we do need a little bit for the leg. I'll be honest with you guys though, at this point, any technique or any skill I had with acrylic is out the window. <laughs> it's gone. These brushes are gonna need a deep cleaning later. Okay, finally time to cover the face in white. Goodbye, Karomi. Just kidding. That's so dramatic. I literally cannot handle that you see my creepy outline underneath the nail. I also need to do the white up here. How do, am I almost missing this? All right, you guys, here it is. Chromey reveal gonna be crazy. I think my melody might actually come out okay. I have honestly kind of high hopes for my melody. Chromey is, I have no idea. I have no idea how that's gonna turn out. I'm dying to see. I'm gonna just quickly finish up the other nails off camera. So basically let's get to filing. You guys will have to let me know in the comments your prediction of how they're gonna turn out versus how they actually end up coming out. Obviously I don't know how they come out yet, but I'm dying to know what you guys think. So let's get into the reveal. All right, are you guys ready to see? <sighs> okay, some mistakes were made, okay? Let's talk about it. <sighs> okay, where do I begin? Big mistake number one, my outline marker. That definitely showed through. I genuinely thought that it was going to be thick enough and that the acrylic that I was using was opaque enough that it wouldn't show like that, but it definitely did. Showed a little through this heart and definitely up here. Didn't really have much of an issue on that on this one, but this pink was definitely not as opaque as I thought it was going to be. And that's definitely my mistake. Probably would use a very light pencil or something like that next time and try to make sure that the colors I'm using are fully opaque. Next, I think my biggest mistake was filing too much. I think that if I had filed less, it would have looked better. I think I had filed past like the point, the layer that I had pictured everything would show up on. I definitely got carried away with the reveal and I'm truly not trying to blame it on like filming, but trying to keep in focus and stuff like that. I definitely was not paying as much attention as I should have to how far I was filing. If I had not filed quite as much, I genuinely think it would have been better. Some of this is like the layer to where I thought it wouldn't matter if it was messy and not filing as much would have made it cleaner, especially like up here because I did want to, of 
course get some sort of like apex. I don't want it super bulky around my cuticle. Some of the design was lost here and then, you know, definitely ended up getting super thin here to where my outline showed and stuff like that. However, overall, I do think that it actually turned out okay if you exclude those couple little mistakes. I feel like something that actually worked out really well, again, but I filed too much, you can kind of look at it right here, is using the clear to make a differentiation in the white next to the white. I feel like that worked really well. And I would maybe think about doing that even more just to create that kind of like depth in it. Cause I feel like it worked really well, like for the arm right here, you can tell mostly, all right, what's happening. It probably would be able to better once again, if I hadn't filed so much, but you can see there was also that like differentiation here also. So I absolutely will try this again. I almost feel like so these look better than some of the nail art I've done. So maybe this kind of nail art is my calling, who knows. I really, really had hoped that I could just top coat these and call it good, but I think I'm gonna need to do a little bit of outline and stuff like that with gel to kind of clean it up and make it so I'm actually happy wearing these because I would not be happy wearing them as they are right now. So let's do a little bit of outline, a little bit of glitter and shading and stuff like that to get these looking a little bit better. So for the heart, we can definitely see that little bit of marker underneath. So I think I'm just putting a little bit of like a glitter cat's eye layer over it will sort of hide that. I'm gonna take this color from Secret Nail Affair. I love these gels. These are their ice gels. And I'm gonna put that in here. I don't need a ton of it, but there we go. I'm gonna mix in a tiny bit of this mixing gel to thin it out just a little. That way I can add some magnetic pigment that's gonna be cute. I may or may not do one of those hearts inside. I don't know. We'll have to see how strong the magnetic pigment is in this. Again, I don't know if this will work very well because, oh, that's a big heart. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. So to kind of keep in the spirit of not doing like thick black outlines, I'm gonna try to outline my Melody's hood with a pink that matches it fairly well, actually. Definitely going for a thick outline to try to cover up any of that black. Might need to do some sort of like pink sparkle on the hood as well. Let's try this jelly from Nails by Dev from the Valentine's Day collection on the hood. And hopefully this can just kind of distract from any of the super dark areas. Again, I did not intend to paint over any of this with gel. I wanted to put a top coat on, but I also am gonna wear these. So I wanna actually like them cause I don't know about you guys, but I look down at my nails like a thousand times a day and I hate when I'm not happy with them. Next we'll outline the red. The heart definitely actually came out really good, but the rest of the bow did not. For the eyes, since we're doing so much sparkly already, I'm just gonna do this. This is a jelly black actually with some sparkles in it from Secret Nail Affair. It is Soul Snatcher. <laughs> what a good name. And I'm gonna try to do just a quick little smile. No. <laughs> and here we are pretty much for my melody. I think that's probably good for the touching up. Might maybe add a little bit more red here, but I'm gonna touch up Karomi off camera cause this is quite a bit. So let me do that and I will be back to decorate the other nails with you guys. And ta-da. So here we are, not too bad. Definitely cleaned up a little bit and it's better. So I'm gonna do something simple on the rest of the nails. I'm thinking just a mix of rhinestones on each nail. Got like white, red, and a little pink ones. And they're gonna just kind of be in a little bit of like a sporadic kind of formation, kind of like that. I'm gonna brush it out a little bit though because I don't want it to be like huge globs, but we need them to stick. We'll start with the pink one, kind of like that. And then I'm just gonna do that for each nail. I'm gonna go in with a thicker top coat today to try to level everything out. And all that shimmer is gonna really pop with the top coat, hopefully. And here are our finished nails. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't love them. It has been a while since I have disliked an outcome of a set of nails, but with something new, that's going to happen sometimes. Hopefully next time it can be better. I think it will be. I will absolutely try this again. Maybe next time I will try this with poly gel and solid gel. I feel like that probably would be much easier than acrylic. Let me know if you guys want me to try it again, but with poly gel, I would love to do that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a like. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. And I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.